Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video, we will discuss lead code question 9 to 4 that says sub array sums divisible by k. So here we are given an integer array nums and an integer k and we need to return a non empty sub array that has sum divisible by k. A sub array is a contiguous part of an array. So uh, let's take a look at the first test case. So here we are given this nums array containing 4, 5, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 1 and k is 5. So we need to find number of sub arrays whose sum is divisible by k. So let's look at uh, this answer here. So this is the first sub array where the total sum is 5 plus 4, 9, minus 2, that is 7, minus 3 is 4 and plus 1 is 5. So total sum of this sub array is 5. Similarly, this is 5. This is also 5. This is 0. This is 0. Uh, this is uh, minus 5 and this is also minus 5. Since 0 is also divisible by 5 means 0 divided by 5 equal, equal, uh, if you find 0 modulus 5 then it will result 0. That's why uh, here we have taken 0 as well and uh, this minus 5 also. So th these are all the different sub addresses that are divisible by 5 and uh, the total number of this sub address is 7. So we return 7 here. Got it? Uh, so in this uh, second example uh, we have nums uh, uh, that contains only 5 and a k as 9. So there is no uh, number in these nums that are divisible by k. That's, with, that's why we return 0. Okay. So uh, let me ask you, ask you one thing. If you have some atom uh, like this, let's say minus 2 and 2, you have k as let's say 5. So what would be the answer? Okay. So the total sum of this, uh, of this complete array is 0. So our answer is 1 because 0 uh, is modulus 5 equals to 0, right? And that's why we count minus 2 comma 2 as 1 sub array whose modulus 5 equals to 0. Thus we return 1 as our answer. So based on this, if for any given array like this, if we find some, uh, if we somehow find when the answer be becomes 0 or answer modulus 5 equals to 0, See, if we somehow find these two things, then uh, we will get uh, the sub addon uh, whose sum is some multiple of uh, uh, k. It's a multiple of k, right? So this is where we find, we can find that anyhow, if we find whenever where the answer or the sum, that is the, if we are taking, we will take a prefix sum and that will become zero. So that is one way to solve this question. Because since you think, if you try for all the sub addons by taking for loop, for loop 1 and inside for loop 2 and this will give you big of n square times complexity and that will surely be t time limit exceeded error that will surely surely give you tia so it was all it was clear only that we can't use for loops and try to uh, generate all the possible sub addresses for a given array so based on this example what we saw that whenever the sum becomes zero that is one possible answer so based on this there is one uh, fact i want to tell you that uh, whenever the reminder uh, repeats, we get our answer. Okay. So what is this reminder repeats? Uh, see guys, our forming an intuition for this type of question that are based on maths, mathematical facts is difficult uh, because uh, there is only some specific approach, one specific approach to solve this question. And if you know that approach, then only it will be uh, easy. Because this is not any typical DP or uh, tree equation that we can form an uh, intuition. So forming an intuition or thought process how to solve this type of equation is difficult. So that's why I am um, mainly talking about the approach here. So the approach says that uh, we will find the remainder and whenever the remainder repeats, we will get our answer. Uh, so let me show you that here we have this idea 4, 5, 0, minus 2, minus 3, 1. Uh, let us first find the sum. So here the sum is 4, here the sum is 9, 9, then uh, 7, 4, and here the sum is 5. Okay, we will find uh, this sum. So this is a uh, prefix sum. And we will find prefix sum modulus k. Okay, so uh, here k is 5. So what we will do, 4 modulus 5 is 4. Now 9 modulus 5 is also 4. 4, 7 modulus uh, 5 is 2, then this is 4, then this is 0. Okay. 
so as you can see here that here it's four and the four the reminder repeats okay the reminder repeats so that's what dot what does this indicates so this indicates that uh, see this, what this nine is what is this nine? this is the sum of zero to one okay so uh, whenever the remainder repeats it says that uh, between zero to one if we neglect some of the elements then we will get get, get a sub array uh, whose modulus k is equal to zero that means uh, here if we uh, minus sum of zero then that will give us five and five modulus k is uh, zero so that is one of our valid sub array so this is what uh, this indicates see let me give you a proof for this uh, see sum uh, of i to j this is the sum of i to j right and sum of i to j is equals to what sum of j minus sum of i now we are taking modulus of k at all places modulus k now uh, 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 if you know that uh, this sum of j modulus k this is remainder r1 and this is also remainder r1 because both are 4 got it so this remainder r1 this equals to 0 that means sum of i comma j modulus k what we got that we got at 0 and as we discussed earlier through this example whenever by taking modulus k if our answer becomes 0 then we get one valid sub addn got it and that is why we are finding uh, this is why see this is the formula see sum of j means sum of all j terms and minus v uh, items okay this terms we subtracted both the remainders are same and if we minus the, this way then our answer becomes zero so based on this uh, mathematical intuition we can say whenever the remainder repeats we found one sub addon that has uh, that is a valid sub addon or uh, whose sum modulus k equals to zero so that's how we will proceed this question. So I hope you guys understood uh, the approach of uh, the solving this question that uh, taking the prefix sum then doing modulus of k and whenever uh, we occur any situation like this so whenever the remainder repeats itself then we would what we would do we would simply add one to our answer add the frequency to our answer frequency of this remainder. So, uh, why we are taking frequency? So if you have this question, the why frequency not just adding one because see for this type of sub array, uh, there is two possible ways to form sub array. This is as simple. Let's say phi comma zero, uh, phi itself and zero itself. See phi is already taken till uh, from array four to phi. So this phi is already taken. So not to include this. Now then we have still phi to zero and zero remaining as a valid possible sub array. So we will increment. So we will add the frequency okay so i hope you got uh, this that one is this for the element and one is for uh, making a sub array with the previous answer so that's why we take uh, frequency and add uh, frequency to the answer so now let's move on to the coding part here let me take one prefix sum as zero let us uh, and take n as nums dot size then we will take one on ordered map to store the frequency of all the prefix sum now one thing to note here is we will make u of 0 as equals to 1 because if you have any element like this let's say phi and k equals to phi then uh, it would uh, we would uh, we must uh, get one answer for this type of uh, uh, test case so that's why we are making 0 uh, if we found uh, any time a uh, remainder zero then we just uh, we start from the frequency one uh, in the other cases we start in adding to our answer whenever the remainder repeats so let me also make here answer variable as zero now for all the nums from zero to n i to i plus plus and prefix sum plus norms of i and what uh, and we take uh, let me take one remainder int remainder equals to prefix sum modulus k now if a remainder is less than zero then in in that case we will simply make remainder positive by adding k 
and after that we would make uh, u of remainder plus plus but before this what we would do we would simply uh, take the frequency from u of remainder and store it in our answer okay and uh, we would simply return the answer say so we did we incremented the frequency afterwards that's because uh, we are finding the repeated u so for first time we'll get then we then the answer would be zero and we won't store but the second time we would get we would store this frequency in our answer and then increment the frequency of, of this got it so that's why we incremented the frequency afterwards so let us now try to run this Okay, let us try to submit this. So yeah, our code got accepted. And uh, talking about the time complexity, the time complexity for this question is big of n, uh, and the space complexity is big of n as sorry, so the space complexity would be also big of n because we would be storing n different prefix sums, uh, frequency or remainders you can say sorry remainders in this unordered map. So both the time uh, complexity and the space complexity would be big of n here. Uh, and uh, and I hope you guys understood how this approach will work because the remainder becomes uh, zero and that's why based on this approach we are solving this question. So that's all for this video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have still any doubts for this question then do let me know in the comment section. Thank you.